So I'm worried that the that it's too hard to get things done. You look at the health care bill, everybody embraced it at the beginning, it now can't pass. I think the same thing is going to be true of financial regulation. Have we gotten to the point where the government is dysfunctional? There are elements of democracy that are dysfunctional. It's not a smooth and pretty picture. Uh, I'm not so uh, hopeless on health care, um, and I think that there will be a demand that something be done with regard to uh, financial regulatory uh, issues and so I, I think kicking and screaming we will uh, we'll see some stuff come out of both of those areas that uh, move the ball generally forward for instance I you know I'm, I'm nobody watching this is gonna like this but I basically think the idea of this bank tax it's just another form of FDIC insurance. Um, you know, I think that the industry ought to both pay back but also prepare for the next mm -hmm. Which is true if you're crisis. not covering the auto companies, too, if you're not picking up the money. Well, I, you know, know I'm not sure that uh, if the auto companies have financial services firms embedded in them, uh, that they shouldn't be included in the group that puts some dough into these things. And, you know, mm -hmm. I, I, the the... Andrew knows this. Actually, there was a huge tax to get us out of long-term capital. You know, Goldman Sachs had to put, I can't even remember, it was $350 million at, at the time. You know, we can, this is pay me now or pay me later. I mean, I would rather set up the systems to deal with resolutions of problems over a period of time, which is what the FDIC insurance rates are about. It's not perfect, but I think that is going to actually pass. And how it gets structured, I think, is very important.